Hey guys, it's Rogan here. I know this isn't my typical type of content, however, this stuff is on par with the Ondera Dev Discord raids, and I know most of my fans are furries or furry adjacent and were a part of Wildberg's old demographic, so I thought I'd make a video on this for the sake of nostalgia. For any of you who did not have a childhood, Wildworks is a company that produces video games. They created the games Animal Jam and Feral, but the most recent game announcement has gathered a lot of scrutiny. Their newest game is called Cinder. The concept of what exactly the gameplay will be like has been vague. We haven't gotten any information on whether this will be an MMO, a JRPG, we just know it's going to be VR, but the concept of the game itself has been defined. Cinder is a game that runs on blockchain technology and every avatar will be an NFT. For those of you who have a life outside the internet, you are probably not aware of what a blockchain is or an NFT. Isn't the blockchain a list of people who you want to block? Nope. A NFT and all other blockchain technologies such as cryptocurrency are created by creating a giant string of numbers proving that you own something. So pretty much it's a receipt. This process takes up a lot of energy though, more than you'll likely use in three years of using your own personal electronics. As such, it does a lot of damage to Earth. The avatars in Cinder will all be run through the NFT making process. Keep in mind that this is supposedly a game, but nothing has been shown about the gameplay, not a single thing except it will be in VR, which Wildworks has never done before. The analysis in the Feral server, and needless to say, it didn't go too well. Feral fans used to be Animal Jam fans, a game that stressed saving the environment and even put out warnings against crypto. It felt like a betrayal of their trust and it struck a chord in their nostalgia. It didn't help that what little concept art there was for Cinder looked suspiciously like Feral, specifically the Fey avatar which is a direct rip from Feral assets. It made people question whether Feral was ever supposed to be its own game, or if it was just a demo for Cinder all along. Feral never had a roadmap like Cinder does, and the unofficial one given to a YouTuber named Mysteria Moon was never fulfilled. The replacing of one perfectly fine, yet buggy game with another one and then abandoning it felt tragically like what happened with Animal Jam Play Wild and the version now known as Classic. I have my own connections to Feral, which makes it hurt. Feral is a very bittersweet game for me, as it was, represents a difficult time in my life. On my old channel, I used Feral as the background for most of my rants, and I'd promote the game in the comments whenever someone asked me, Oh, that looks cool, what is that? On videos with 80,000 views, I'd Feral in the background. That channel is dead by now, but Feral serves as a reminder of that era. Feral also gave me this username. I was a third or so way better tester and I wanted to snag a one word name as those names were considered valuable and status symbol in Animal Jam. So I chose the word Arcane as my name based off of my flight rising flight. And lo and behold, my name now is currently the same but with a 4 and 7A so I show it better in YouTube search results. Similar announcements about the oncoming NFT game were made across their other social medias. They got truly slammed on most of them and in one fell swoop they lost almost all of their audience. Let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer stupidity of Wildworks. They created Animal Jam, a children's game, and then Feral, a game that grew up with the target demographic of Animal Jam, and it's based for teens. Both of these games were directed towards furries. They had the perfect target audience. Not a lot of games are made in the furry game niche. And they decided to throw it out for what? They got the goose with the golden egg, the formula for a niche yet good game. They had a dedicated audience and they threw it all away. That's so freaking dumb! If you spend a second inside the Feral server, it's likely that you've seen the corn emoji, and you might be wondering how it became a symbol of the revolution. Well, this started on Twitter. What was happening on Twitter was truly enlightening, and no other social media got as bad as Twitter. Clark Stacey, the CEO of Wildworks himself, was fighting with teenagers over the environmental benefits and drawbacks of crypto. In his conversation, he admitted to do practically no research despite financing an NFT game and wanted the teenagers to send him information instead of the other way around. One of these teens sent him media to back up their point. This media was not a news article, nor a scientific paper, but an image of corn. This user was promptly blocked by Clark, and hence corn became a symbol of a revolution, as his minuscule plant became so enraging to such a highly regarded person. Everyone from Mobworks decided to log off in the backlash after creating a 30 minute cooldown for talking on every single channel on the Discord server, leaving no one except for the volunteer mods to look after it. The volunteer mods, however, were as heartbroken as the other fans. 
No one at Wabrooks had prepared them for what was happening before the announcement and after as well. They were left on their own with no instruction from Wadworks. They did the only thing they could do with their minimal powers granted and pinned messages on the situation. They also helped moderate the chaos in chats. They never were too rude and without them the chats would be disarranged. The most aggressive I've ever seen a mod get was telling people not to spell out farts and emojis because people were actually trying to communicate in the emoji section on Discord. About that, because of the half an hour cooldown timer, the average time it takes for me to bake lemon bread or brownies in the oven, people had to use their words wisely and that meant not replying with dumb comments. Instead, dumb comments were switched over to emoji form. People became a master at spelling things. I saw someone spell out lies and deceits in emojis in less than 30 seconds once. In the words of Bear Grylls, adapt, improvise, overcome. And all those we did. A lot of hilarious comments resulted from this. I am going to show a few here if you don't want to see them, skip to the time shown on screen. Advice for new players, leave server and uninstall. With 19 smiley emojis, 13 cat heart emojis, 17 check marks, and 14 explanation points if you want to see how bad people were hitting Pharaoh now. Guys, this is Blinky with a hat. Was my idea there for it's my NFT? Do not steal, please. I work very hard on it, but I could make you more totally different ones with different hats. Even though it's just a different hat, it's still original. I worked very hard on it. You know I did myself, so be kind to me. It's just saying I'm an NFT artist. At Clark Stacy. At Wildworks Clark. Where are my brother's eyes? I don't think Wildworks is gonna lag back on until, uh, tomorrow at the earliest. It's a weekend, unrelated, but this is just like a silent lunch in elementary school, and you can't change my mind. I agree with that point entirely. You know it gets chaotic when they put you on a red light in, in elementary school, and you just have to sit there in silence for an entire meal. It hurts. As you can see, people are having a fun time with the situation and are making light of it, but that still doesn't erase the fact that underneath the hilarious comments, there's a lot of hurt. For every meme in the main chat, there are two people expecting how disappointed there are in Wildworks and saying that they're going to be leaving the server. I'm honestly disappointed as well. For a company that has been collaborating with National Geographic in the past, they sure as hell do not seem to care about the environment. Is this the end of Wildworks? One cannot tell, but I don't think they'll recover from a slip like this. Rest in peace, the creator of my childhood, I'll miss you. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the Cinder NFT game. I'm sorry about posting something that isn't in my normal range of content, but I just felt such a volatile reaction that I knew I couldn't keep this to myself. Wildworks will supposedly start replying to messages on Monday as their office hours open up again. I'm scripting this video in one spurt of energy on Saturday night at literally 12 a.m. and I'm currently recording this on Sunday, which is today. Time is strange and I'll add what happens on Monday in a pinned comment. I'm betting a mass banning of anyone who spoke in the general channel and almost all the moderators being kicked off. If you like my style of narration, feel free to subscribe. I might not do stuff on Modworks all the time, but I do frequently do furry adjacent animations and analysis on some books that you might have read as a kid. Thank you to my current subscribers for supporting me. I couldn't have got here without y'all's help. That's all, Roken out.